Hey guys, this is EHR Blues Solitaire. Um, this is a little horse that, for those of y'all that follow me closely, um, I've been talking about him for several weeks. I'm gonna say, I wanna say probably three weeks. This might be his third week under saddle. It, going on his third week, uh, today's Wednesday, so I think this is his third week. Um, so the horse has got probably 12, 13 rides under saddle. Um, he was given to me, um, a lady down south, I, I think in Florida or maybe Georgia, uh, gave me this horse. Um, I didn't know what he looked like. It, it didn't matter, he was free. Um, she messaged me, she said, Emerson, I got a, a little Rocky Mountain gelding. He's just miserable down here. Um, she said some kind of bugs was bothering him uh, and her vet come out and they've done everything in the world for him. And this bug was bothering this horse and, and he told her the best thing you could do is move the horse up north. Uh, but it was, uh, he was diagnosed with summer itch. Um, and he had, uh, he'd rubbed all his mane out. His tail, top of his tail is, is rubbed out. And, and the back of his rump was, was had a bunch of little raw spots all over it. Um, for those of y'all that's been following me, uh, you've seen some videos of him whenever I first got him in. I showed, you know, I showed videos. They're still up probably, but they should be. Uh, but you can look and see the raw on his tail. His tailbone was raw. You can see this, you know, the skin and stuff was, was raw where he'd been rubbing up around his neckline. It was all raw. Um, I started doctoring him here. Um, he immediately started growing hair. Within three days, he had a little hair follicles back. Um, he's quit itching. He's absolutely fine. Uh, he looks, all his hair is back now. He looks absolutely amazing. Uh, of course, you can see where it was at because he's got new hair in over top of his old, but uh, you know, that's obviously, you know, the next year when he sheds off, you won't never see it again. But anyway, he's all completely healed up. Uh, he's 100%. Um, so we don't want this horse to go back down south. Uh, not around Florida, not down there. I don't know what kind of bug it was. Um, but, you know, just know that he needs to uh, stay up around the northern part of, uh, you know, wherever he goes. Um, so... You know, I'm in Kentucky. Uh, it doesn't bother him at all. He don't itch. He stands. Uh, I got him in a stall. I've had him turned out. He don't scratch on nothing. He don't. You know, when he came here the first day or two, he was still itching, where it was still bothering him. But after I started doctoring him, he just quit. So whatever was bothering him was, you know, it immediately just went away once he got into Kentucky, uh, just within a few days. So. He don't do it no more. He's over it. I don't give him no more medicine. I just give him, the medicine I give him was just MTG, a little bit of iodine, uh, just to try to, try to heal his wounds and uh, grow hair back. Um, never gave him nothing for the itch or anything like that. Just the fact of him being in Kentucky out of that weather helped that. So anyway, <clears throat> she messaged me, wanting to know if I'd take him because he's miserable. Um, you know, he, uh, he was bred out of Texas. And I was like, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll take him. I sent my shipper down there and got him, and he got off the trailer. And I looked at him, and I said, I was amazed. I mean, I didn't, you don't know what you're getting. I didn't know if he's worth a shipping bill, but it didn't really matter. Um, you know, it was a free horse. He was a young horse, and it was something that, you know, she was trying to get help with. Uh, she didn't know what to do with him. Um, obviously, you know, she had a hard time selling him like that down there. So, uh, you know, I, I took a chance on him and I got some money in him shipping him up here. And then I obviously, you know, I trained him, so I gotta be paid for that too. So I don't, I don't need a, I don't have a great big reserve on this horse, but uh, he's as good as anything I've ever started in my life. Um, he may be one of the best I've ever started in my life. I don't know if he's up there. This horse has a natural headset to him and God just carries itself really well. Got a great big old, Thick body, big old rump on him, big booty. You know, a lot of y'all like him, big booties. He got the big booty, big old thick neck. He looks like a little stud. Just absolutely gorgeous. He stands 14.3 hands tall on a keg shoe. Um, he had been shod, uh, or I'm sorry, trimmed every four to six weeks, she said. Stood like a champ first time we ever had shoes on him. Stood right there. 
he clips, he bays, he loads, he does it all. Somebody's done a ton of groundwork for this little horse, so that made my job easy. So you're looking at a horse that's been on her saddle for a couple of weeks, and you know, I don't mean to tip my own horn, but it kind of looks like I, you know, we're doing a pretty good job with him. But honestly, guys, whenever you, whenever you got people that does the groundwork with these horses, it makes our job easy. Uh, like I said, we're going on week two here, or I'm sorry, week three, the beginning of week three, and this is what you're seeing. This little horse, oh, he just took out off a of gate and right off the bat. He was, he acted like he'd been rolled off his life. I actually lied to Harrison, uh, the boy that, that rides for me. Um, when I got him, I said, here, Harrison, I said, of course, I tried him out a little bit. I played around with his mouth and that little horse responded pretty good. I said, here, Harrison, take that in there for a ride and let me know what you think of him. He said, is he broke? And I said, yeah, he broke. And uh, I know he wasn't broke, but I, anyway, I would never put Harrison on anything dangerous. So don't think I'm a bad guy. But uh, I know he wasn't going to hurt him. And I've got horses, I've had horses here that I wouldn't let Harrison ride either. I would never get him hurt. But I know this horse will take care of him. Um, he just hops on him. Takes off, takes him riding, comes by. He said, I said, how'd he do? He said, oh, he done good. I said, that's the first time he's ever been rode. He said, no way. I said, yeah. I said, that's the first time that horse ever been rode. He said, well, he don't really know. He said, left and right, well, won't go very good. He said, but he done everything. I said, yeah. I said, it's his first time. And that it was unbelievable. I mean, that's how good of a horse he is. And, and I've trained a bunch of these Rocky Mountain horses, guys, and, and he ain't the only one that's done that, but he's, he's, he is what makes the breed desirable. Um, this is what they breed, they breed this breed to do. Um, the people that know the, you know, the Rocky Mountain, you look up the description of Rocky Mountain horse, they're supposed to be, you know, a docile, easy going type horse. And this is that, that description of that horse. And that's why, you know, most of them are like that. And he fits the bill. He's got the gait. He's got the disposition. Everything about him is beautiful, dark chocolate, little color to him. Um, excuse me. When he gets his mane and tail back, his tail ain't really damaged that much. Just at the top of it. When he gets his little mane back, he's going to be absolutely gorgeous. He's a pretty son of a gun right now. I love him just like he is. I think he's here. The button, his little mane sticking straight up. But he's healed up, guys. He looks good. Just keep him out from down south weather, and you'll have a good horse forever. Um, here he is, EHR Blues Solitaire. He is a four-year-old registered Rocky Mountain gilding. So here he is, guys, make me an offer. Um, like I said, uh, I'm not looking to get rich on him or nothing like that. I'm just trying to find him a good home. That's the most thing. Thanks. Oh, that's good. All these summer rich spots. My first guy in that right there is completely raw. Gets healed plumb over it. Looks really good. All this right here is all healed up. It's not raw at all no more. Nothing. All the hair is back. It just looks a little bit funny where it's new hair. All of it's back. There's no, nothing wrong with him anywhere. Nothing's raw. Everything looks good. His tail was all raw. It's all looking good. Look the hair growing back. It's coming back quick. Everything looks good. Okay.
Okay. Gate. Like uh, all of our horses, guys, he does come over to my new block. We taught him that. We taught him all that. He's, he's trying to climb up there. He thought, he's, hey, let's go up here. Anyway, snap your fingers. He'll come over. He'll come over and get you, pick you up. He'll also uh, come back and let you off, which you're going to see in this next clip. So here we are. Come back, let you off. He's still learning, guys. Just tap him right there on the hip. Boom. He'll come right back over and let you off of him. This is only his 12th ride under saddle. He's always been really uh, willing to do about anything you ask him. Just point and he'll go. Um, he's just naturally that way. Uh, if, if, he, if he don't go, just let him look at it and talk to him a little bit, and then he'll think, okay, well, they want me to go. He might be a little, get, a little bit confused if it's something – like that, you know, he's like, what? You know, if you climb that, you just let him look at it a time or two. Just let him stand there and study it a minute and then ask him to go again, and he'll go. This little horse is very willing. Look at it. Look how cute he is. Look at the neck on him. And it had big old shoulders, big old rump on him. That little horse is built right. Got the best little gate ever was, right down low, natural head carriage. Look at how he holds himself. Look at that little four beat gate. Absolutely perfect. Right down low, and he's got some speed to him. If you don't like that gear right there, clap to him and go on. He's not a bit nervy. He ain't, he ain't the type that wants to go. Here right in the front, the middle of the back, he's good. Yeah. For no more than 12 rides under saddle, he is good. Just let him go easy like that, Harry. Just keep him right there. Just let him easy around. All right, go faster now. <laughs> okay, let him walk. Turn him around, let him walk.
Right there, gate. All right, turn around, gate. Canner. <laughs> 